Roll up those sleeves, it's a new year, it's a new quarter, and you have pipeline to go out and generate. I wanna help you with that. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about my learnings from making over 37,000 cold calls and my top seven cold calling principles updated that I guarantee if you adopt, you will begin setting more meetings on the phone immediately, money back guaranteed. Luckily, you're not paying for these videos. It's completely for free out of my own goodwill. All I ask is that you subscribe below if you haven't already. Leave a like on this video, it really helps the channel. If this video gets 35 likes, I'm gonna upload another video of a successful, fantastic, perfectly executed cold call, along with a terrible cold call that goes really poorly of me getting absolutely body bagged and feeling really sad after, but luckily I bounced back. Quick housekeeping item before we get into the cold calling principles. I released a video yesterday talking about my experience getting roasted at my company sales kickoff. All of my professional colleagues, my boss, my boss's boss on the call, thousands of people, I got absolutely roasted, eviscerated, exposed, and that video has over 400 likes on it. I cannot thank you guys enough for the support. It truly means the world to me. I really appreciate you guys joining me on this journey and looking forward to helping you guys with everything I can in the realm of sales going forward. Today on one of our company all hand sales meetings, one of our senior leaders said, happy pipeline, happy life. I really like this saying because it essentially means if you have a fat, large, robust pipeline, even if you aren't great at working deals like myself, as long as you have a lot of pipeline and put yourself in a position to succeed, you'll naturally come out on top because you have so much pipeline. There's a lot of ways to generate pipeline. There's cold calling, there's emailing, there's social selling on LinkedIn, Facebook, I've never tried that, but let me know if it works for you. You can use your ecosystem internal, external. Fortunately for you guys, my favorite method is a good old fashioned cold call. And I'm now gonna share my seven principles to help you set more meetings immediately. A lot of people oftentimes like me going into greater detail on these seven points. So let me know in the comments below what questions you have or hit me up on LinkedIn. I'm happy to help clarify anything or help you any way I can. Also, any new rep or someone looking to get into sales should really know these seven because these took me over two years to really learn and really embed in just my, my thinking. So they're really important and trust me, they are tested. They are battle tested. 37,000 cold calls. I'm gonna go through them pretty fast. Cold call tip number one is what you say isn't as important as how you say it. This may not make sense to you, but let me explain. Your tone, your inflection, your pace, your pauses are as important, if not more important, than what you're actually saying, the words you're saying. And, and, and trust me, follow me on this. When I first started, I sound like a used car salesman. Hey, this is Trent from XXX. Do you want to set up a meeting? Everyone said, Trent, slow down. You sound like a used car salesman. Control the pace. And I learned that by taking strategic pauses, by inflecting and deflecting, you can really control the pace and the tone of the call. And if someone sounds upset, you can diffuse them just by your inflection and your pace and your tone. So make sure to be conscious of how you're delivering your pitch more so than what you're actually saying on your pitch. Cold call principle number two is if the call feels rushed, it's you who are rushing the call. And this plays into principle number one. And this is something I really struggle with. I like to talk fast. When I get nervous, I start talking fast. I can't help it. And on these cold calls, like many of you guys, I had a script. I didn't know what I was saying and I would just start blabbering a lot of words into an oblivion, it would confuse the prospect, it would put me in a corner, and a lot of meetings and a lot of calls would go astray because I was talking too fast. And one of my, and also this applies if the prospect is like, hey, oh, 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 yep, running into a meeting. They're blatantly trying to rush you off the call. Take the control back, you be the leader, you control the pace, slow it down, say, hey, great to talk with you. Did I catch you at a bad time? Whatever you wanna say, control the pace. Do not let the other person speed it up. Even if it feels unnatural, you control the pace number, no matter what. Cold calling principle number three is always work in the phrase, and this will really help build your scripts out on this, guys. The reason I'm calling you is, when you receive a cold call, you don't trust the other person. You know they're in sales, you know they're trying to sell you something, you know they're trying to make you do something you don't wanna do. So put your shoes in the customer as the prospect. They don't know why you're calling, so tell them exactly why you're calling to build more trust and, and affirm that they can actually believe what you're gonna say. So in the first two seconds, the reason I'm calling you is, 
X, Y, Z. You better have a good X, Y, Z, but always work in the phrase the reason I'm calling you is because they need to know why you're actually calling. That will help, trust me. Cold call principle number four is make sure to briefly convey what's in it for the other person if they take another call. Most commonly, when you're making cold calls, it's to set up an additional meeting. You're, you're not typically selling them right then and there. It's hopefully to, to set up another meeting. Whatever your ask is, know what your ask is, and that's gonna be the next principle, but make sure to say why it's in it for the prospect. Don't just say, I think it makes sense to set up another call. What's your availability next Monday at 5 p.m.? So, something like that, say, based on our conversation today, it sounds like you have alignment in, in this initiative. I really believe there's an opportunity we can help you with that. Would you have any availability next Wednesday at two to set up a conversation? Convey why it's in it for that person and that will increase your set rates, believe me. The next cold calling principle is make the ask for their time. Understand what your ask is. This confuses people sometimes. Your ask is your action item. Why are you making the call? You're making the call to set up another meeting. You're selling time. If you're calling to try and get them to sign up for a webinar, that's your ask. If you're calling to try and sell them on the phone, that's your ask. If you're calling to try and get them to subscribe to your YouTube channel, make sure to subscribe below. Make the ask. If you don't ask, you'll never receive. So be very clear on your ask. And no matter how the conversation goes, make the ask. What I really struggled with in the beginning was making calls and not actually making my ask. And I realized I'm never going to set meetings if I don't actually make my ask. Cold call principle number six is never take no for an answer. If I receive a no, I'm never backing down. I would rather get hung up on 10 times out of 10 and it feels super weird, uncomfortable, cringy, than take no for an answer. If I get no for an answer, usually it's not a blatant no. Usually it's, oh, I don't know if that would work. I, I, I don't know if that would make sense. No, no, I, no I, don't, I don't ever see that. Really pry and say, what about this doesn't work for you? Slow down and say, hey, based on my research, if you really feel good about this, tell them why you think it makes sense to call. Don't accept that initial objection. They're either trying to push you off. We could make a whole other video on cold call objections, but don't take no for an answer. Keep going until you get hung up or you get to a place where you realize there's no chance you're gonna set it and just give up. It's not worth your time or their time. The final cold call principle, I hope you guys are enjoying this. We're doing this in one take right now. I've found that by talking to a camera for an extended periods of time, it really helps me in my ability to articulate and communicate and really share messages without using filler words as much and telling a story. So I hope you guys feel the same. The final cold calling principle is, is really important. It sounds like you actually want to be on the call. I hope you can pick up, and a lot of people comment on my enthusiasm, and I appreciate that. That's intentional. I personally show up. I'm not going to be in a bad attitude. I want to be in a good attitude because I want to make you feel good. I want you to be in a good place. In making cold calls, it's the same thing. If someone calls you and they're like, hey, is this Jim? It, I'm not saying that's bad, but, but you know what I'm talking about. Based on your tone, inflection, the way you say it, sound like you want to be there, sound like you care, and that will immediately differentiate you and elevate the other person's mood because no one wants to get a cold call. Oftentimes people, you don't know what they're going through, so try and elevate their day. Even if you don't set the meeting, just try and be friendly, make them feel better about themselves, and a byproduct of that is you naturally will start to set more meetings if you actually care and want to be there. It's helpful to prime yourself before your calling blocks, get in that right mindset, be ready to make someone's day better, and trust me, it really will help. Those are my seven cold calling principles. Really appreciate you guys watching. If you're still with me, thanks so much for your support. I'm making videos every day indefinitely, all things sales. I wanna help you become a better salesperson. I wanna help you with all things prospecting and I wanna help you become more successful sooner rather than later. That's, those are all things I want for myself. So let's help each other together. Let me know in the comments how I can help. Subscribe below if you haven't already. Leave a like, hit me up on LinkedIn. Thanks so much for watching as always guys. Bye.